So in this video, I'm going to talk about the uh, Azu FT710 radio, and um, specifically, this isn't going to be a review of the whole radio. There's enough of those on YouTube that that would be redundant. So I'm going to specifically talk about the AESS feature of this radio, and how, in a way, it kind of disappoints me. So this external speaker comes with the radio and there's an adjustment over here that you can switch or fade back and forth between the internal speaker in the radio and the external speaker in the radio. And I'll give you a taste of that right now. So at 0%, at 0%, it's 100% on the external speaker. And then at 100%, it's a 50-50 split between the internal speaker in the radio and the ex, uh, external speaker. And, uh, well, first, let's listen to the speaker all by itself. And now I'm going to fade in the other speaker, the internal speaker in this radio. And I'll only just crank this all the way up to 100%. Now, I have a suspicion that the reason AESS became a reality is because the internal speaker in this radio doesn't sound very good at all. It's harsh, it's got reflections, it's peaky. That's just not doing a good job. So the external speaker, if you uh, fade back and forth between these two, you can find an acceptable position where the sound isn't too bad. But the reason I'm disappointed is because there is absolutely no low tones in this uh, speaker setup on this radio at all. It's just high pitches, medium, medium tones, high pitches. It doesn't sound full. It's not, not the type of uh, reproduced audio that I really like. And what I've done is I really don't use this speaker that much. I've got another speaker that I can plug in. And I'll show you what that sounds like real quick. So this is just a bookshelf speaker that I've wired in. This is some gray line stuff that's coming in from, I have no idea where. Kilo Bravo 4, Alpha Sierra, you're 5'9", Arkansas. Roger, George. And we'll listen in on this contest a little bit. Uh, the Kilo Quebec 4, KT4 again. All right, uh, KT4. And now I'll fade in the other internal speaker in the radio just a bit. Merry Christmas, thanks for North Carolina, QRZ. Kilo Delta 5, Yankee Charlie Yankee. Yankee Charlie Yankee, give it to me again. Yes, Kilo Delta 5, Yankee Charlie Yankee. Kilo Delta 5, Yankee Charlie So that sounds pretty good. And uh, that's my disappointment with this radio. 
is the the factory speaker it really doesn't impress me at all and I think it's just a physical size thing the speaker inside of this enclosure is pretty tiny in fact let me pop the screws out of it and we'll take a peek so here's what this speaker looks like it's just a very tiny two and a half inch speaker inside of this enclosure and I'm going to experiment with this a little bit I'm going to, I'm going to try stuffing it with some acoustic fiberglass and see if that makes any difference at all but first I want to take a sound sample of this speaker the way that it is so let me pop the cover back on it and we'll plug it in and I'll pre-record a soundtrack and we'll use that to do some back-to-back -back comparisons Okay, so we'll just record a track here. We get into a dead part of the band. Testing one, two, three. Testing the received quality of the AESS speaker on a Yuzu FT710. Testing one, two, three. Okay, so now I'm going to get the microphone out of the way. And what we're going to do is make sure AESS is all the way off, so it's just this speaker now. We're not using this internal speaker in the radio. And let's listen to that again. Testing one, two, three. Testing the received quality of the AESS speaker on a Yuzu FT710. Testing one, two, three. And now I'm just going to stuff it with some acoustic foam. Or acoustic fiberglass, I guess, is a more accurate term. For this test, for this test, I'm not even going to put the screws in it. I'm just going to hang it up there. And we'll try that again. Testing one, two, three. Testing the received quality of the AESS speaker on a Yuzu FT710. Testing one, two, three. And it still sounds kind of flat to me. So, um, it seems like the enclosure is big enough as far as space inside the box then I could put a different speaker in there and maybe improve the fidelity of it. So that'll probably be the next thing that I try is order up a two and a half or two and three quarter inch full range driver and somehow cram it into that case and see if I can improve the the sound of it a bit and uh, add some low tones to what we're getting out of the speaker. but. I like the way it looks. It's a very attractive speaker. It's just the, the sound quality isn't real impressive out of it. So I'll throw up some sound clips of that back to back and uh, and see if there's any change at all. It didn't sound like there was much of a change to me. Testing one, two, three. Testing the received quality of the AESS speaker on a Yuzu FT710. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing the received quality of the AESS speaker on a Yuzu FT710. Testing one, two, three. But there you have it. That's the AESS in these radios. And uh, if you're just working a contest or something, it's good enough. It, it works. But when you're rag chewing, it, it lacks a little bit. I... Uh, I always like to set my radios up to sound natural. So the radio, to me, should produce uh, speaking audio that sounds just like somebody's heads up face-to-face -face with you in a room. So if somebody's talking to you from three or four feet away, to me, that's what the radio should sound like. 
or as close as we can get to that level of quality. And then, of course, if you're working a contest or you're trying to communicate with somebody, weak signal work, you can change that and make it more punchy and strip out all the bass tones and make it more mid-range to uh, to help that work. But for just rag chewing and, and general uh, conversations back and forth with other hams, I like it to sound as good as, as possible or, or be as high fidelity as possible. So we're not done with this. We'll work on it some more. Just wanted to show this feature of the radio and maybe get some feedback from, from you guys and see what you think. Thanks for watching.